Hello. Welcome back to Outer Worlds, where we uh, recently just landed in Byzantium, and we are doing a mission for Phineas, where he is um, looking for some kind of drug that he used to bring me back to life. Also, we're trying to get into this guy. I don't know how the hell he afforded such a nice ass place, but. Uh, Oh my god, why? You almost like the hell off, China. Alright. Anyone else? Did we lose reputation? Not yeah. Yep, board reputation decreased. Um, that kind of sucked. I did not wait one for that to happen, but we'll bite the bullet and we'll roll with it. I think I turned my sound down. Actually, no, no. Anyway, um, I'm trying to figure out where the here it is. So for. We're neutral with the board. Oof. Okay. I'm trying to think, what if I go in here? And they just attack me on sight, but they didn't. Oh, uh, they won't. Okay. Uh, who's this person? A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Oh, yeah. Didn't seem very prepared when I killed him. Bro, this place is nice. I got a promotion coming. I can feel it. Good for you. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm still, uh... Now, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Very interesting. I guess I could have just walked in through this way, but anyway. Alright, we're gonna go look for the fancy clothes. Um, you sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Go. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? Being in space? I've always Look, loved it. it's just Ellie. It's not. You, with the hips, over here. Uh, Let hello. Take a closer look. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. The way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. Um... Ah, oh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. I'm Celeste Jolico, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Really? Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? So she says when I stepped in, so all like 20 seconds ago. 
Everything I need to know can be deduced from a first impression. You're an outsider. You're exotic. You carry a whiff of barbarism and adventure. You're the embodiment of everything I want in my new line. Wow. That's a hell of a compliment. When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. Okay. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. <laughs> oh, you cad! You'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacer's choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. Licensing and copyright to make a dress? She's an engineer. You think you can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. They see exactly. Licensing and copyright? Cut the bullshit. Oh my god. Hold up. Oh dear. Love. That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub! Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. Alright, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Darling, do I look like an amateur? I read her measurements by eye. And don't you ask because they're no one's business but her own. <sighs> All right. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Hmm. Okay. For you, anything. Outside Byzantium? Of course not. There's nothing for me outside Byzantium.
Byzantium has lost its élan vital. Everything about this city is so dreadfully stale. I want to make people uncomfortable the way you do. You're an outsider. You clearly don't belong in Byzantium, and yet you strut about, doing as you please. I'm not some common button monger, darling. I'm an artist. It's my job to make you uncomfortable. Yes, and I'm terribly grateful you've agreed. Look, darling, I don't belong outside Byzantium any more than a fish belongs on the land. Anyway, I'm quite certain Byzantium wouldn't last three days without me. I've returned to a smoking ruin of hideous fabrics and mismatched colors. You're very welcome. Wait, didn't I just ask if I, I can buy what? something? I was about to say, damn, dude. Straight denied me. Colony <clears throat> ship uniform. That's pretty interesting. Very interesting. Wow, glad you guys made it down so soon. Holy crap. Okay, Pravati, let's talk. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. Oh, man. You know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send you a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. Right on, Bray. Alright, so... gotta go to the ship and talk to her let's do that i'm very daring when it comes to like jumping off of shit but i don't know if i can do it off of this and survive because i'm gangster bro thing about traveling with the captain we meet all sorts of new people sure best part is when they pay us we never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you could be a favor in disguise a lot of people out here ain't that nice hmm. i like that my crew gets along so well it's really nice All right, so I'll get back on the ship and talk to her and see what happens. I'm curious as to what's going to happen with this Junlei thing. What if Junlei tells her no, dude? Oh my god! All of that for nothing. Huh? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. I take our ship's security highly seriously. You are the worst, Ada. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. Okay, so I have to go to groundbreaker. Goodbye, Terra 2. It's been real. Although... We've arrived at the groundbreaker.
Roseway and Edgewater and Byzantium are all on Terra 2. All right, here we are. We made it. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? You look the same. What? Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Wait, where did you go? Wait, what the fuck? I wanted to see her in a fancy dress. I didn't even get to see what the dress looked like. <gasps> oh, oh my word. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my own. What did he say to that? How about it then? And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I'd get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. Hmm. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Oh, shit. Are you sleeping? In your full suit? Alright. I wonder if these guys realize they can actually take their suits off. I'm not sure if they know that, but... Whatever. Alright, so... Okay, cool. Remember that you are... Yeah, shut up. Well, I can't take... Oh my god, I keep pushing E thinking that is going to... Oh my god. It's a f it's annoying. I don't change players very much. I hope I didn't mess something up with this date now. I probably did. Fuck. I genuinely wanted to take so I wanted to leave her for the first time. That's annoying. I mean I guess the game just like fast track. Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Stop eavesdropping on people, man. Got the edge water. Got this thing. Iconoclast. I got Oh, the secret lab. That's pretty cool. I've got the board factory. Is this everybody that I like screwed over? Kind of, dude. This is a nice ass touch, dude. What is this board? I don't remember that being there. But seriously, that, that's a nice touch to the game. I actually really like that. the big finale but you know that slick looking spacer from all my colonists they got her playing the queen of the marauders do you think maybe i could borrow that sometime okay wait wait where did these seats come from i don't remember those hey we gotta talk bro okay captain she's gone did it go well I want all the details. Before you say anything, I want to be clear that I'm done running around for you. Oh my god, dude, that's so mean. I feel like Ryan laughs around the cargo bay. So she got here, and, well, she sneezed. She said, wow, new soap? And I was like, yeah, rosish. Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. Wow. Bro, if I had to do it in the engine room, that would literally fry to death. Have you seen the heat coming over that thing? She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, 
Is that a dustbag casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage, and she taught me to build. When I brought out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her, because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Smooth. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved, and I'm so shy. I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Well, damn. <laughs> Wait, she wrote a speech to declare her love. She was worried she wouldn't get the words out right, especially after that message about Isabel. That's sweet. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! And then she sneezed again, on account of the flowery soap. What about your disinterest in personal affection? We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it'd work, how I've had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. Fix things together. Share meals, talk. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I say I might like that. I knew I liked her. It's got nothing to do with me. That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met you in lay at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. Well, alrighty then. 33,000. You don't have to use the ladder, just jump down. Like, you'd want to do it in here, bro. Look how... Look how hot that is. Okay, so I gained a picture of Jun Lei and Pravati. Okay, where is... This is the shitter, right? Yeah, that's the shitter. Make it look good, Sam. Um, this... She's... She went the wrong way. Absolutely went the wrong way. Isn't this a room right here? No, this is an open room, I think. I need to find one more person. Hmm. Whose room is this? This is her room, actually. Interesting. Is that the flowers from the table? I actually don't know. Alright, where are we headed to? She is not screaming into her pillow. I am disappointed. Um, visit Ellie's parents. We're not going to do that right now. This, though. Iconoclast one, Monarch. Marauders, I think I can pretty much find anyway. From the spacer. Hmm. Okay, Monarch. We need to go to Monarch, I think. Mm. I don't actually think it matters where in Monarch I go. I think Brook Bolt is probably the most central place for this. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Fantastic. Don't mind the mess. Hey, what are you doing Can't here? See you, boss. 
Alright, Felix. I think I initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out. Good, good, good. Alright, Ellie. Hmm. Let's do Ellie. Let's leave her for now. We'll take Ellie and Felix and see what they do together. For Marauder and oh man, how's how come? You died three days ago. You seen Arthur today? Yeah, I don't think I need to actually have this. Can't unselect it, that kind of sucks. Hey man. What are you supposed to be? Sublight thug? Okay. Hmm. A marauder. I wonder if this is going to tick off if I get... You know what though? She said the groundbreaker. I can get a spacer suit on the groundbreaker. So, you're, uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. Oh, uh, hey there. Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. Oh, last time I was in the city, Sandra was singing her praises about a boat something or other. Suppose that warrants a discount. You want to buy something? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see what you got real quick. So we're looking for standard troop armor. Mm -hmm. Where's the stuff? Mm-mm. I don't think you have- wait, wait, wait. Are, are they with MSI? Hello again. You wanna buy some? No, no, don't be absurd. I'm based out of Stellar Bay, but I cater to our more, um, trailblazing clientele. Hey, life's too short to be worried about danger this and careful that. I'd rather just do my job and try and enjoy it. Okay. Oh, it's nothing out of the ordinary, really. I was on my way to Fallbrook and got jumped by insane bloodthirsty cannibals. It happens. Wow. She really makes it sound like it's not that big of a deal. Alright, so as of right now, we're looking for... Amber Heights. So we'll run to Amber Heights. It's kind of hoping they'd have some armor on them. Shoot. No armor, huh? It's crazy to me how Terra 1 and Terra 2 are so different from each other. And I guess I could just fast travel there. Not have to waste time trying to get over a freaking bridge. Okay. Now.
You weren't a very good lookout, friend. Alright, see now. Still nothing. Still nothing. Uh. Damn it. Kind of confused. Why are they not dropping armor? I mean, even if they do, though, it might not be the right stuff, anyways. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the armor as best I can. Duh. Oh. So the ringleader also didn't have armor. That's crazy. I'm thinking if I can find a... Uh, what you might call it? This thing, vending machine. This might have what I need. I was very wrong. What is this again? It's sealed off. I can't get in there. That means I've never been in there. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder what's in here now. Is this a piece of the wall missing? I feel like I've been up here before, but I don't actually know. Restricted access. I've never been here. No, I have. Yeah, I have. This is where they, like, fumigated the other person. Alright, I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to go to where I absolutely know where the armor is. So let's go there and get some. Stella Bay might actually have what I'm looking for. The infamous Amber Heights. Something about this place makes me feel sane by comparison. What are you buying? He still doesn't even sell it. Wow. Hang on. Felix, what the hell are you wearing? Okay, he's wearing that. What is she wearing? Oh. Sugar Ops armor. Um. I know that he's actually wearing a hat from this place, though, like a helmet, right? Kind of, sort of. Move along. Kind of wondering if I find like iconoclasts in the um, yeah, iconoclast rioter. But the thing is, it doesn't really say like it's not a genuine or a guarantee that he's gonna drop any armor, which in my opinion is risky as shit. 
basically need what these guys are wearing, really. Don't really want to shoot them, though, in okay, case something bad happens, but, uh, not sure. Hmm? Hmm. All right, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to fast travel to Stella Bay. Wherever that is, she has a drone there. I'm going to look around Stella Bay for what I need. If I don't find it in Stella Bay, I'm going to look for it probably off the recording. Which honestly could potentially take me hours to do. Um... Hey, Ellie, you want to know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only, we have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? Hey, why do you always do that thing with your eyes whenever I talk to you? You on the alert, maybe? Looking out for hidden enemies? Let's just say you remind me of someone. I bet they were real pretty. This is crazy. There's no... They don't sell their armor? Seriously? What are you supposed to be? A rioter? Can I... Can I... Close this door? Alright, I'm gonna try something. But I don't want anyone to try this at home, okay? Fun. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it either. Interesting. Oh, you guys are back in the crew. Hi, guys. Wow, you died quick. You kind of sucked. Take him down. Do you have it?
like rats in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from Savannah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to look into this. I'm not really sure where I can find any of this stuff, to be completely honest. I feel like at one point I actually had it. And now I don't have it anymore, obviously. It's like I have to go find somebody in the bushes dead, is what I'm thinking. Because they're, they're not selling it. got ship, right? The Invincible. And we got a ship, right? So I got to think it. Win a race, the invincible or the unreliable. Felix, you watch too many movies. Yeah, Max said the same thing. Except he usually says it after giving me this long, disapproving stare. Adventure serials are my education. Where else am I supposed to learn how to kick a jackass in the chest? And that's what being pirates all about, right? Hate to tell you, but a lot of the job is waiting for a gig than waiting to get paid. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds. Wait, what's that smell? That's him up! Yeah! That's what you said! Ah! Yeah, they don't really drop armor. Now that I think about it. I think I've definitely found armor some some way across the road or somewhere along the line at some point, but I think I'm gonna definitely struggle with this one. Don't give all my shit. I'm assuming this means I'm just gonna have to like run around this car, this planet, and just like kill shit. But anyway, so I guess what I'll do is I'll probably just call it here and then, um. I've been waiting for this! Man, if you had just given me your armor, I definitely would have let you live. I hear ya. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, it's an iconoclast.
something good behind? Exploring some ruins, killing mm. some monsters. All we're missing is theme music. Here we go! That's one now! Well, we're definitely picking up a lot of stuff, but I don't see us actually getting where we need to be. Alright guys, we'll catch you in the next one, I think. I'll uh, do some research on this. Talk to you later.